Yo, what's going on, sexy sound squad? How are you guys doing today? It's uh, it's Tuesday, the new day, and I'm gonna be playing some Osiris. That's not Osiris. Uh, where is he? Ah, some Osiris. Perfect. There he is. And I'm gonna be doing the uh, the conquest build. So if you don't know, oh, oh what skin is this? Look at my head, it's so big. Anyways, um. There was a couple of Osiris games played at Worlds, and specifically Solar Patrol really made a, uh, an impression on this Osiris, and I thought it would be really entertaining if I took that Osiris and I ran with it and I saw what I could do with it. It's not perfect. I'm not a great Osiris, but... I also don't think I'm a, I'm a great smite player in general. So maybe I'm actually a fantastic Osiris. I don't know. <coughs> you can't hide from the build, me. by the way, you that um, that Solar Troll did, I think, was a Berserker Shield into Glad Shield. He did have a Death Toll, which obviously I can't have. But uh, he went Berserker Shield into Glad Shield, and then he went into, like, Oni Hunters. I'm not going to be able to go into Oni Hunters, so I'm just going to go... Obviously, I'm going to do a more solo lane build, and that uh, that solo lane build is going to be, like, a Frostbound Hammer, and then a Kins. Normally, you don't go Pen in solo lane. You just kind of go a bunch of defense and then a Kins. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's the play today, really. Also... If you're watching this video within the first six hours since it came out, you should backflip. Thank you. If you're watching this video from the first six hours of its its arrival to YouTube, then uh, you should come over to Twitch at twitch.tv slash Sam the Dude because I'm going to be live from noon to 6 p.m. Eastern this entire week. Man, if only I had Death Toll. Imagine. Imagine I'd have literal full HP right now. Hello. Hello, Bozo. Oh. Alright. You are not level 5 yet. Oh, doesn't matter. You got an ability backup that I didn't think you'd have backup. I'm just gonna back. I'll be back with into in the tower. Is there any chance I could stop him from doing red? He doesn't have backflip. He doesn't have a weave there. There's a chance. There's a world in where I can stop him from. Never mind. He didn't even go for red. It's interesting that he didn't go for red. Also, I didn't buy any items because I really want... I really want that Berserker's first item. I think Berserker's is just going to do so much for me, man. And I get a red buff, dude. Ooh. You spoil me. You spoil me, little one. I just want to clear most of the minions. Can I just, can I go get my red buff, please? Thank you. Pick that bad boy up and then I'll back. You can get the XP camp. I'm okay with that. I'll allow it. Oh my gosh, he tried to punch me in the head through the wall. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that? <laughs> Good try. All right, the backflip into the detonate. The most normal of all neath clears you going xp camp you're not where are you maybe he's just holding for blue buff here i'll let him have his blue buff like don't get me wrong i cannot out secure him that dude is neat he's gonna drop a weave he's gonna explode that weave and if I'm standing there, he's going to explode me too. So I'm not I'm not trying to get nuked by a Neath. How? 
All right. His backflip is down. I don't do enough damage yet. I need that glad shield if I want to be able to, uh, like, actually pump numbies on him. I can't actually pump numbies yet. I'm going to back here. Don't do it. Don't do it. Perfect. So what's my power at? Oh, I have 48 because of red buff, but I guess I should have 35. A decent amount of attack speed. I would use my one on him, but I really want to keep it for the wave because almost all my wave clear right now is my two. Oh, I missed that one. That actually ended up being a, a good trade for me. I'm okay with that. Oh, he hits me for, like, not very much. Mm, he does have shell, so if I ult it under tower, chances are I die. Oh, if that hit. If that hit. Actually backing? Giving me the red buff again? I don't understand this guy's plays, man. Like, he's not that far behind. And I'm doing kind of a weird build, like going both both shields. It's not, not weird, but it's weird for duel. But yeah, I'm doing this kind of like weirdish build, and he's just kind of letting me have things, which is so odd because he does more damage than me. By, like, a lot, man. By a lot. Like, he could definitely kill me. But I don't know. Your middle tower is under attack. I am doing a lot of damage now, though. With that glad shield, you better be careful. Better be careful. My next item, honestly, it could just be a breastplate. It'd just be a breastplate. Look at that damage. Look at all that damage, man. Oh my gosh. I throw a breastplate on top of this. There we go. There we go. You went a little too greedy for the blue. A little too greedy for the blue buff. I'm going to throw my two over the wall here. Just so I get the XP for all those. Um. So now I'm thinking I either, I either go Frostbound or I go... It's 100% a Frostbound or a Breastplate. I think, I think honestly, you would get either in the solo lane, but better for me in this game, specifically right now, is the breastplate, getting that extra 10% cooldown. Oh, he is just pushing Towies. He's going for, he's going for the Towie play. All right. Fair play. Are you just dead though? Aren't you just dead? You are dead. Um, but I guess I can't get anything off of killing you. Honestly, not bad. A good play from him, for sure. Very good play from him. But uh I am I am getting a bit ahead in XP. I'm getting a bit ahead in XP. And I I did take like a million tower shots just now. So I don't know. 
I also don't know what second relic I want. Because <coughs> I would go... Blink. Actually, Blink is probably just good. Blink is probably just a good relic to grab here. Oh, hello. You can't hide from the pain. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. My goodness. Imagine hitting abilities. Could not be me. Could not be me. Oh, I went through the tower. Wow, that is just... I took 13 tower shots just now. 13 tower shots. That is pretty disgusting. That is, that is really gross. I just walked in there and took 13 tower shots. Oh my gosh, man. I missed my ult, by the way. They still killed him. That glad shield does a lot of damage for me. A lot of bonus numbies. Now with a blue buff, I max cooldown. I really want to get Kins because I know like this is a this is a solo lane Osiris build, right? If I'm let's say I'm against like I'm against an SPL team and they have four physicals, uh, this is what I'm building, and I'm I'm W keying the ever loving shit out of them. Look at that DPS. Dude, I can just be so annoying. Oh. Oh, big shell. Big shell. Honestly, big shell. Honestly, big shell. I'll admit. Um. Hmm. I mean, do I just go blink or do I go thorns? I think I go blink because I have frostbound now, so I'm going to be a threat to him. Like, he won't be able to run for me. I mean, he does. He will have sprint, but... I don't know. It's fine that he got breastplate. I don't... Or, breastplate. It's fine that he got a uh, bull demon. I don't think he's going to be able to really utilize it at all, so... Unless he backdoors me, which, you know, it, it, is, a, it is a strat. It is a strat. But I think I can play a little safer than I have been playing and just keep him at his tower line if he doesn't backdoor. Because, like, he's just, he just doesn't do enough damage to me. Look at my damage output here. He's healing and he's got fire. I'm just annoying him with my abilities. Just chunking him down. This is all I want to do. I don't actually want to try to kill him. But you know what? Let's get an ability, shall we? Just force him back a little more. Just to keep him... Just to keep him, like, stable. Like, you're, you're back there. You're not getting my Phoenix. We'll grab that. We'll go to Kins. Oh, we will bring suffering to those who oppose us. 
And my Phoenix is back up, just like that. You probably got my blue, right? You didn't. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing. But that that's an indication, like... The whole reason that I died is not because I lose fights. It's because I take 34 tower shots every time I fight him for fun and then die because I'm a for fun player. <laughs> That's my issue. But now I have kins. Now I have kins, so you have to be spooked. And my last item can be... I mean, if I'm in solo lane and I'm against a hunter, my last item is either Spectral Shield if they have crit, and obviously he has no crit, or you just go Toxic Blade and run him down 30% extra attack speed. You know, like, Toxic Blade is a good-ass item. Oh, you are dead. I learned, I learned my lesson. I'm not actually going to die then. I took four tower shots already. I do think I could have maybe killed. But I, I also think it's not worth the risk. Because I can just do it again. You know, I have max cooldown. My ult is up really often. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Trying to hit me, huh? Trying to poke a little fun at the boy, huh? Um. Now, there is a world in where I kill him there, but I didn't want to whiff alt. Because if I whiffed alt, I'm further away from him than I was. Which is not a good scenario. Not a good scenario. And Toxic Blade also helps with her too, right? So, it's not like it's a useless item for me. But yeah, this is basically like a solo lane build you could go against for physical. Mainly, that last item is Spectral. Because crit is a much more like prominent in in um, conquest, but either way, still a good build. Now he went dominance and Xy. so he's uh, he's basically trying to smack me with true damage auto attacks here. Oh hello, I did not expect you to be there. Do you die here? I believe you do. Oh, good sprint. Good sprint into a root. Good sprint into a root. But I use nothing. <clears throat> I use nothing for that fight. And he used his sprint. So I'm definitely at the advantage now. I have max cooldown. <clears throat> this doesn't give me any power, the Toxic Blade. But uh, the 30% attack speed is actually huge. The movement speed's not bad either. Yeah, I mean, dude, feel that attack. You can feel that attack speed. Jeez. I kind of want to just go do bold even. And if he shows up, blink on him. Let's see if he falls for this. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. Oh. Brute missed. 
I, dude, you are dead here. Oh, nice ult. Or jump, I mean. Not ult. Hold on, I'll wait for my abilities. Just waited for the abilities, man. Nothing special there. Just waited. Sometimes... Sometimes you just gotta wait. And I should be able to get this Phoenix because I have two minion waves here. I have this one and then, yeah, I have that second one coming in. <clears throat> I'm gonna stand here so the minions hit me instead of uh, my melee minions, the archers. And you can have blue. I'm gonna get, go do red. I'm gonna snag a red buff from you. If you don't mind, of course. My damage output is insane. Like, his is pretty good, too, but, like... I don't know, man. Oops, I don't want that. I already have one. Um, I don't know. 240 physical, pro physical prots? It's pretty good. The Frostbound is doing work. If he ever misses a one, he's got, like, some serious explaining to do, bro. Hello? Okay, you got... You, he is really good with that one. That, that was a 181, man. That was honestly just impressive. Oh, are you dead? Yeah, you are. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You got a little bit too greedy for a quarter of a second. I applied the Frostbound and all of a sudden you were dead. I applied the Frostbound and all of a sudden you were dead. That's a good... That was a good Neath player, man. That was a good Neath player. But can't really stand up to the Osiris. Look at that damage mitigated. 56,600 damage mitigated. And I did more damage than him too. He mitigated less than half. It's just a strong solo lane build. I mean, the Toxic Blade, like I said, probably isn't in the build. And this is more of a build that you want to do if you, you have to carry, right? Like, if you're not carrying, if you're not the carry of your game, oftentimes if you play Osiris or Bologna, you are going to have to solo those carries. So you are going to have to go Frostbound Kins. But, um, you know, in a, in a Conquest game, this might be an Oni Hunters instead of a Breastplate because they have some magical damage. This might be... A Spectral instead of a Toxic Blade because they have some crit. But overall, this is like a really good carry solo lane build. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget, twitch.tv. And until next time, y'all, peace.